Close your eyes and focus your mind right on the breath. Make this the most important thing right now. You're going to stay right here with the breath and you're not going to take on any other responsibilities. This is time for your mind to gather its strength, to gather its awareness, to heal all its wounds. It wounds itself with its greed, aversion, and delusion. So now it's time to use the breath as a medicine to heal those wounds. We really have to look after the mind, because the mind is the most important thing in your life. It's not just this life, it's what goes on to the next life and carries all of its qualities with it. So you want to make sure you've got good qualities inside, and you have to give top priority to this. If you ask yourself what you want to attain in life, if there's things outside, well then the things outside you attain, you're going to have to leave, put, put aside when you, when you go. But if you think about the qualities of mind you put into your life, those go with you. And if you put good qualities in, you're helping to leave some good things behind here as a gift to the world, and to, as well as taking things with you. This is why they have the teaching, what they call the bottomies, so or the perfections. During the Rains Retreat we're going to be going down the list of perfections one by one, but today I just want to talk in general about the principle of perfecting the mind. The word bottomy comes from bara or barama. Bara in the sense of going off or over to the other side. This is what takes you to the other side beyond suffering. It's the good qualities you build in the mind. We tend to forget that. We want the world to be this way. We want our friends to be that way. We want our job to be this way. And that's what's not going to take us to safety. What takes us to safety is developing good qualities in the mind so you can trust the mind. As for the word parama, that means number one. You want to make your mind your number one priority, the qualities you build into your mind your number one priority. So that when you, every morning when you get up, you can ask yourself, okay, what's the most important thing I've got to focus on today? And you can remind yourself, okay, it's the qualities I build into my mind. Always make that number one. In other words, the bottom these are your priorities. This is what should come first. Otherwise, as you approach the end of life and you look back on your accomplishments, and some of them will have been good and some of them will have been changed by then. I mean, look at your own life right now. Look back at what you can look back at the moment. You see a lot of the things that you accomplished in the past are gone. But what's with you is that the type of qualities of mind you build up. Now, if you did that through greed and aversion and delusion, those qualities are going to be strengthened in your mind. But if you do it with a sense of goodwill, with a sense of generosity, a sense of discernment, a sense of patience, a sense of endurance, okay, these qualities will be good qualities to, to carry with you. And, they, and you don't have to wait for the next lifetime for you to see their good results. I mean, they're good to have in your mind right now. So every morning when you wake up, ask yourself, okay, which are the, which are the priorities am I going to choose today? Am I going to choose the world's priorities, or am I going to choose the priorities of greed, aversion, and delusion? Or am I going to choose the priorities of the well-being of the mind, the good qualities you can build in the mind in the course of the day? Each day is an opportunity for generosity. Each day is an opportunity for virtue, an opportunity for patience an opportunity for goodwill and equanimity. The opportunities are there all the time. And this is one thing that we don't have to fight one and over. We don't have, it's not that there's only so much generosity in the world and you have to take it away from someone else. It's not like money, where there's only so much in circulation. And if someone gains, it means someone else loses. But with abotomies, the more generosity you develop, the more virtue. You're not taking anything away from anyone else. You're not taking away their possibility. So here's an open field for you. You can, you can develop all the perfections you want, and it's not considered greed, and it's not considered anything unseemly. I mean, that's how the Buddha became Buddha. But he went full speed ahead in developing all the perfections, all these priorities, all the way to their ultimate level. We may not be aspiring to his level, but at least we can aspire to realizing that every day when you wake up there's an opportunity to develop good qualities in your mind, and always trying to make the best use of those opportunities. Because as life comes to an end, then the opportunities get smaller and smaller, and you have to, all you have to do is look back on what, you, what you're taking with you as you leave. And you want to make sure you, when you open up your luggage on the other side, you've got good stuff in the bags. You need to bring a lot of junk along with you. <laughs>